Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I'm answering a question that is asked actually quite a bit. I was at a birthday party for a friend with my husband last month and I mentioned something about homesteading and she said, okay, Megan, you have to tell me, what is homesteading? That's a pretty valid question. The concept of homesteading today, it is probably different for every person who will answer that question. Hello. I love you. Oh, you're so good boy. Oh. Okay, can you sit down next to me? Historically, homesteading was when the U.S. was not completely settled and the government offered, in very brief, uh, land rights to those who would go and stake physical claim to a land, stay there for a certain period of time and farm it, turn it into a place that sustained them that was a home and outbuildings and improved the land aside from what was considered unsettled wilderness back then. Today in America, you'll find um, eh, a little bit of contest over what it is. Every now and then there's a little drama in the homesteading community about uh, who's actually a homesteader and who's not. But the basic idea of modern homesteading is taking the land that you have, whatever land that is, and making it sustainable, doing what you can to use that piece of land, the buildings, the resources on that land, and sustaining yourself, providing for yourself to the very best of your ability on that piece of land. For some, that could be virtually setting up a farm on tens or even hundreds of acres. For others, that could be turning an urban backyard into as much growing space as possible for gardening or some chickens thrown in the mix. We are somewhere in the middle of that. We are a, a what I call in my Instagram hashtags, a suburban homestead. We have just over an acre of land here. We uh, we were rural when we moved here, but uh, people the secret's kind of out, and people from the uh, state capital are realizing the commute is not horrible to downtown or to D.C., so they are very rapidly <laughs> moving out and developing uh, the country out here. So we are turning more suburban each year, and our land taxes are evidence of that. So we have just over an acre and we have just done our best, especially in the last two years, but for the last three years that we have been here. We have been working to turn this little piece of earth that we own into a sustainable place for our family to live. We have been planting permaculture beds around our borders that get appropriate sunlight. Um, if you've been keeping up with us this spring, we've been turning our shaded areas along the woods here that border our property into a hugel culture. We back up against an HOA on the back there. We are not in an HOA, so we don't have those regulations, but we do sort of want to respect the fact that we're neighbors. So we have our chickens in a chicken tractor instead of free ranging. We have the ladies here, 20 of them, in the Chick Chalet. And we, as of right now, have a 1,500 square foot Back to Eden style organic garden. Uh, we have two big projects coming up to continue to develop our homestead. One of them is to build a new shed. Uh, the shed that we have was here when we moved here. It was not in great repair when we moved here, and it's a bit on the small side. And over the last three years, it has continue decline. So our plan is to turn the very most shaded and unused corner of our property into the spot for our new shed that we are hoping to build ourselves. If you've seen our different videos with our gardens and such, you know that the tiny shed we do currently have is 
right next to the garden because that's kind of the one flat spot in our backyard. So once the new shed is built and our things are able to be moved into that, we want to take that down and repurpose the wood in various ways, but put up a hoop house or a greenhouse there to extend our growing seasons and give our chickens a place to forage in the very coldest of months where they can be outside and stretch but still have the permanent cover of the chick chalet. We are working to make all these systems work together to sustain us, to provide as much of our food and sustenance as we need right here where we are. We have big dreams of one day moving to a five, maybe even 10 acre rural property where we can develop more, maybe get some grazing animals. I would love some sheep. Everyone talks about goats, but I really would love some sheep. I would love sheep for milking, for the meat, for the wool. I would love to have sheep, but I need significantly more acreage for grazing in order to make that happen. We found ourselves in the first year after we bought this house in a mindset of waiting. Just sort of grow a little garden, and wait for the big plans until we got to our homestead. And we realized, at least for now, this is it. And we don't know what the future holds. Maybe this is it. The house is enough room for our family. And let's do what we have with the property we have to make it as sustainable as we can. So we have big projects for the future just in this calendar year, more plans for putting in more permaculture beds and raised beds in the coming year. But that is what homesteading is to us. We're really not into the drama or the bickering, we're into the heart of it. This is homesteading. This is making our land provide for us. This is us working with nature to treat it right so that it will turn around and produce for our family and help us be as self-sustaining as possible. I would love to hear what you think of the term homesteading, what it means to you personally, or if it means nothing. Is this a new concept to you that you've never really identified with before and it interests you? Or maybe it annoys you. I don't know. <laughs> I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Let's chat. Thank you so much for sticking around today, friends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this with anyone you think might find it informative or encouraging and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye, friends.